Hey guys, it's me Kate again. Um, this video will be my uh, September wrap up. If I sound sick, that's because I am. So let's jump right in. So first thing that I read in the month of uh, September was my reread of the Kanan Hana by Yuki Shivasu. Volume, uh, this volume one. Uh, so in this this manga series in which are following the current Hana who meet at the arranged marriage meeting because the Kana's grandfather uh, initiated the arranged marriage meeting between the uh, Hannah's sister Hannah's sister and the Kana, but her sister sister didn't want to come, so Hannah had to her tend to be her and then the kind of kind of going on to a mind a bunch of misadventures together i really enjoy this game five to five stars even upon the reread and so the next thing that i read was thousand nights by yiki and Joy johnson so this in, in this retelling of one thousand and one nights so in this one we're following um, a girl who uh, decides to take her sister's place to become a bride to the king because uh, the king uh, Mary had already 300 wives but all of them uh, are dead so and he cannot uh, marry another girl from a specific part of the country until he meets one from each one so uh, and our main character Caesar is um, said to be most be, uh, most beautiful girl in her village but uh, our main character decides to take her since her place and become the queen because she doesn't want to see her sister dead and uh, to sur uh, to uh, survive, she actually tells the king's sto uh, to, in the stories to the king, and uh, er uh, actually those stories are what keep her alive. Uh, and then I reread *Spindle* by Ken Johnson, which is the sequel to *Thousand Night*. This one is happening a few hundred years later, uh, and. Uh, their kingdom is suffering a curse, uh, uh, and uh, actually, to break the curse, our main characters decide to save the princess. And this is, uh, I think, Sleeping Beauty retelling, if I remember correctly. And I reread the Ramayana, a short and modern prose version of the Indian epic by Ed Arkan Narayan. As the title says, this is a short and, mo short and modern prose version of the, the Indian epic of Ramayana, uh, which tells us a story of Mit uh, India said, mythical king of uh, Rama, uh, who was banished uh, <coughs> from his kingdom for 13 years so he could prove that he is worthy to become king and while he does that uh, a demon takes his wife and he saved, uh, he has to save her I really enjoyed this gate file to five stars and then I reread Loki were mischief eyes by uh, Mackenzie Lee. In this one, we're following <coughs> Loki, uh, who in this version, after some things happen, is a task to going into 19th century London to uh, uh, deal with the mess. So, I really enjoyed it. And then I actually we read again this year, Our Burning by Amy Goffman and Jake Christoph. Uh, 
the second book in our cycle series, which uh, we are following is squad 312, uh, which is basically a band of misfits who actually save to, uh, uh, have to save the galaxy. And they came together because their uh, squad leader, Tyler Jones, who was star pupil at their academy, was lay <coughs> late uh, to his graduation because uh, he was saving a girl named Aurora and because of that he instead of uh, getting to pick the best of the best he ends up with bottom of the barrel then I will read uh, Aurora's end which is third and final book in Aurora cycle series also it gave 5 to 5 stars then I read first and only new book that I read in the month of September and this was Here's to Us by Becky Albertelli and Adam Silvera In this one we are following this sequel to uh, if it, uh, uh, What If It's Us by Becky Albertelli and Adam Silvera and which we are following Ben and Arthur who meet at the post office in New York and this one is happening and then go on to a series in of disastrous days and this is uh this is happening two years later uh i enjoyed it five to five stars then i read uh behind the flame by hafsa faisal uh in this uh, one we're following zafira who is a hunter and nobody knows that she's a girl and one day uh, she, the opportunity presents itself for her to actually go onto this um, island and save uh, uh, the magic of the world. And we are also following Nasir, who is known as Prince of Death, because even though he's current prince, he's he is the assassin for the crown, and he is also he has the task to. Uh, retrieve the artifact that will restore magic and him and Zafira meet along the way and stuff happens. Then we read uh, We Free the Stars by Hansa Faisal which is equal to We Hunt the Flame. I'm sorry I'm rushing to it but as I said I'm sick so I cannot long, uh, talk for <coughs> long. And, and then we read again read, uh, Red Queen by Victoria Aviard. In this one, we're following Mare, who is a red, and in this world, the reds do not have powers and silvers too. One day, while working, Mare finds out that she actually has magic, and uh, it leads her into this political plotline. And stuff goes from there. Then I really read uh, for the second time this year The Gentleman's Guide to Rights and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. So in this one we're following Monty who is just about to go on to his grand tour with his um, uh, best friend Percy who he may or may not be in love with and his uh, younger sister Felicity and uh, of course starts, stuff doesn't go as planned. Then I uh, we read Unconjuring of Light by V. Schwab, this third book in the Dark Shade of Magic series in which we're following Kel, who is an anti, which means he can travel to parallel worlds, in this case to parallel Londons, and there are four Londons. Uh, 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 Grey London, which is our London without magic, uh, White London where people fear magic, Red London where people worship magic, and the uh, uh, Black London which was destroyed by magic, and one day Kel uh, smells something uh, from Black London which he shouldn't have and that is a good stone which leads him into a whole world of trouble and stuff grows from there and the, actually the last thing that I uh, read in September at the moment I'm still reading it but uh, at the point I'm done filming this September is also tomorrow so I'll finish it in the month of September so you're seeing this literally on the 1st of October, so we have always been here by Brandon Sanders, and this is part one. I have part two. Is that a red thing you see on the blanket right there? Uh, that's why I think is basically tissues. Yeah, I'm sick, so I 
he have to blow my nose every five seconds and so in this one uh this third book in uh, Stormlight, Archi Stormlight Archive in which are following a war between Haleti and the Parshendi uh, which started uh, when the uh, Parshendi kid, uh, kill <coughs> killed Haleti king but at this point they are only fighting for sharp plates and sharp plates which are these magical swords and shields which, which grant their rare pow uh, powers and yeah and stuff goes from there that's a really basic basic plot without any details so uh, yeah that's it for this video if you like please like share and subscribe down below my social media my email and some other stuff and i'll see you in next one